Hello, and welcome to the SCORE video tutorial brought to you by College Essay Advisors. This is what you'll see when you go to SCORE.com, and we're going to start by logging in. Welcome to your SCORE dashboard. The first thing you'll notice is this little pop-up help box. Uh, this will be a great resource to get to know the website, but for now, we're going to skip it. SCORE has a lot of cool resources for applicants. They have a quiz to find out what colleges might be a good match for you. They also have this career assessment, perhaps for the students who are still undecided. And then they also have a quiz to find out whether you qualify to apply for free. If you scroll down, you'll see that any messages from colleges will be here. Any application deadlines will be here if you have already added colleges to your list. You can discover colleges. So really, this is more than just a, an application platform, but a place where you can go to get to know where you might want to apply in the first place. Let's go to the Discover tab. Welcome to the Discover tab. The Discover tab will help you find the colleges that you'd like to apply to. If you're just getting started and you're not really sure what your school list looks like yet, this is a great resource for you. Let's test out the search function. Let's say you want to apply to four-year colleges. You'd like to attend a large school, perhaps in a city. And maybe you have a few majors in mind, but you just haven't decided yet. Let's give ourselves some room. Then we can sort this by selectivity or size. Let's say biggest to smallest. Then, as you can see, for this student, you would have 178 colleges to sort through. You can follow colleges, and then they'll show up in your My Colleges tab. Right here is Penn State. You can also use the compare function. Um, this will help you compare colleges, which is a great tool. Let's say, for example, you're thinking about Penn State and Texas A&M. Well, we can look at the average SAT and ACT scores, acceptance rate, application fee if it's available, perhaps a video from admissions to, for you to get to know the school better, number of students attending, they also have information like academic majors, and of course cost and financial aid, which is a very important a factor to consider when um, comparing schools. Okay, welcome to the My Colleges tab. Uh, here are some more great resources for you. There's the suggested section. If you're collaborating with a parent or guardian or counselor, um, they can suggest colleges for you and these will show up here. Then you have the schools you're following. We just followed Penn State University and here you can set your acceptance likelihood. Next we have the applying section if you've already started an application. And then the applied section for any applications you've submitted. And if that's the case, congratulations. This information is also available to download if let's say you'd like to share a PDF with someone helping you with your applications. Then there's the messages tab. And your inbox is separated into three categories, college outreach, direct messages, and notifications. If you click on me, you can look at the events and deadlines college sessions, and go back to the Compare Colleges tool. Okay, let's say you're ready to start your application. If you type in the college name as we did, you'll go to their own page, and then we can select Apply, in this case, for free. This box will pop up, explaining how applying with SCORE works. SCORE partnered with the Coalition for College Access to create a seamless experience for students transitioning from college search to applying. You'll complete your application profile, answer college-specific questions. Here at College Essay Advisors, uh, we refer to those uh, writing sections as supplemental essays, and then you'll review and submit applications. You'll enter your personal information, contact information, demographic information, whether you qualify for fee waivers. Then you'll move on to the family section, family information, citizenship, disaster impact, education. This will, if you've submitted applications or watched any tutorials about the common application, this is all going to be very similar and a lot of it is very straightforward.
In the education section, you'll see activities and experiences. This is where you'll upload information about what you do in your free time. Um, perhaps you have an after school job or you're a part member of a club. Uh, perhaps you've organized a charity drive in your town. All of that information will go here. And you can see what this looks like. Okay, the essay and more section is our favorite section here at College Essay Advisors. Although the minimum word count is 250 words, they recommend anywhere from 500 to 650 words. Since the common application essay has a maximum of 650 words, that's what we recommend you uh, strive to meet. Here are the prompts available to you for your essay, your personal statement. Uh, there are five prompts and then one topic of your choice. If you're interested in learning more about these prompts and what admissions is looking for, um, we have videos and guides for these and I'll share more information about those in the description. Then we have the additional information section. If you have more to share, for example, maybe you had uh, a prolonged absence or a drop in your grades, or maybe you were impacted by a natural disaster, this is the place to talk about that. You don't really want to use your personal statement to talk about uh, extenuating circumstances because the personal statement is more about who you are at your core. So if you have information about perhaps um, a learning difference or um, something that impacted your studies, your school, this is where that information goes. Counselor information, pretty self-explanatory. Recommendations, <laughs> this is so cute. If you go to overview, it'll show you where you are with each of your applications and what you're missing. Another cool thing about SCORE is they have insights and stories to help you on your college application journey. For example, their featured article right now is five steps to discover your college match. We at College Essay Advisors also have a ton of cool resources. For example, here's our supplemental essay guides. We have them for over 150 schools and they will break down the school specific prompts that you'll see in the application so you hopefully feel more prepared to answer and have a better sense of what they're looking for. If you go to our free resources section, you can also check out our YouTube tutorials, our Common App Personal Statement tips, and more. All in all, we're really excited about SCORE and what it's bringing to the application table. As always, we here at CEA are wishing you the best of luck with your college applications.